So what's behind us is uh, a work of art really, it uh, encompasses key date 5 which is the completion of the feature staircases designed by Allies and Morrison, the architect for the project, delivery for the University of the Arts London, the London College of Fashion. Oh, the staircase is just, it makes me smile, it makes me so happy to see it. Uh, thanks to the wonderful team we've had on that project and the workforce, the, the fixers and carpenters, construction manager, the engineering team, that they really blew, blew it out of the water. Um, a lot of prep work with 3D pattern moulds, um, several runs of the digital builds. So once we got the models and got everything in 3D and had our supply chain working in 3D and constantly going through that step by step um, construction sequence with the, the team on site, so our carpenters and our, our fixers. It, it really made a difference. It, 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 made, it made sure that we could actually build it because as you can see from the imagery, it, it isn't straightforward. You've different curvatures and you've different radii all the ways up through the, the structure. And it was a, something that the architect and the client was really passionate about. It was their focal point for this building. So it was important that we would deliver to the high quality and standards that they asked for and they required. And I think everybody that's worked and been part of it is just so proud looking at it now. It's, it's amazing. I was, I was a senior engineer here at the London College of Fashion. Uh, I looked a lot at the, uh, the formwork for the stairs behind us and uh, a bit of the 3D rebar modeling. We had a full digital build model on this project. So every element that we had was modeled uh, and we used Navisworks and Revit. We had uh, CADs detailing the rebar in 3D, and then we used those models to call off the reinforcement. It's got some quite tricky shapes out there that even you couldn't get with a standard conventional bending shape, uh, so it wouldn't have really been possible without the use of the 3D modeling. From the top down, it was about 20 meter opening. There's a large 18 meter wide elliptical beam. And for the false work, the complicated false work that we had underneath the stair moulds, we needed to work from the top down so that we didn't prop on top of the stairs. Obviously the stairs are only suitable for pedestrian loading. We've done similar staircases before, but uh, what separates these ones is just the sheer scale of them, and the size of them. Stairs are, they are the main feature of the building. When it's, when it's fully finished, that'll be the whole, the entrance to the building comes through level one podium. And, uh, and you come into that space and it's, it's just, the, when you look up the orange peel effect uh, is the, the way the architect has described it and it does look, even now, and the building isn't fully finished, it's, it, it does look amazing.